Awam, I want to give all praises to Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawah Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Right, the um, 144,000 and the one third, and the men, women, and children who will come out of that one third in these last days, right? Um, this is Ama One from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. And um, this is John 6 and 66. It says, From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Yahweh Shai unto the twelve, Will you go away also? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the anointed, the son of the living power. Now the basis of this video is that we had a function like how Peter was functioning. Because Peter, when you read the whole chapter, Yahweh Shai was uttering some hard things. And it had many of his disciples... Who were they who didn't consist of the twelve? That the hard things where he was saying, he was talking in parables, they couldn't understand it and they left. They like, nah, I can't I can't I can't do what this he was basically telling them to eat his flesh and drink his blood. But he was talking about these scriptures, the word, but they thought he was talking about cannibalism. And they say, nah, 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 this man, this man going too far, you know? Because they didn't understand. So they left. And in these last days, you're going to have a lot of men who don't understand. So they go and leave. And if you don't agree with the doctrine, that's the best thing you could do. Leave. If you have problems with the doctrine, leave. But I stand, I speaking for myself, and I hope all brothers can hear. I, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Sharat want to have the mindset of the Apostle Peter. Because the Apostle Peter, what he say, he say, wait her to go. In other words, it have nowhere else to go. This is why, this is, this is my life here. This is why, this is why I believe in and I ain't going no way. You could do, you could say what. I believe in you, anyhow you take it. So, on a, on a broader scale also, you scoffers and you scorners who tell yourself you're hindering the gospel. You can't hinder the gospel. The gospel is unhinderable by scoffers and scorners and mockers and Esau and his minions and all of that. You can't hinder this. Because the ones who the most high Yahweh Shami Shai selected to believe in him will believe in him. Despite what they are going to believe. They ain't going on flunk. Or anything the one believe. You understand? Just like the Apostle Peter read it over. For John 6 and 66, from that time, yeah, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Before that, before Yahweh Shai said what he said, they did believe, they did, they did claim to believe, but really they didn't because they left. He says, then said the twelve, then said Yahweh Shai unto the twelve. Will ye also go away? So I was trying to say, like, will you go away too? Will you go leave me? Hmm? You all go and leave me too? But Yahweh Shai know who was going to leave and who not going to leave. Yahweh Shai was sifting them. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? So that is the mentality you are to have. When Satan come in and pressure in you, Satan where have no way else to go. You understand? Thou hast the words of eternal life that proves that Yahweh Shai is the word and believing on him, you will get eternal life. And what he was saying and the way he was moving, his operation and his, 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 his um, the way he walked on this earth, trying to walk like him is perfection. You die, you're aiming for because he is perfect. Is he not sitting down at the right hand of the Heavenly Father right now? 
Yes, he is. Verse 69, and we believe and are sure, and are sure. We believe and we show, meaning, whatever anybody come and, 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 and see, whoever, nobody cannot hinder us or, or have us wavering. We show what we in, and you have to be sure. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. The word sure come from the Greek word. Strong's G, 1097. Gnosko. Gnosko. And it means um, to learn, to know, to come to know, get a knowledge of perceive, feel, to become known, to know, to understand, to have knowledge of. And we have knowledge of what Yahawashai stands for. We show sure about that. We understand that. To, to understand, to know. I'm Jewish idiom for sexual intercourse between man and a woman to become acquainted with to know. Basically, we show we understand and we know. We know. That is how Peter was saying. We believe and are sure. We understand. Through what? Through his word, through, through prophecies, what he prophesied about you and the way he was up, the way he carried about himself on the earth. It had no other description to prove to Peter in them timing. It have nobody else but you. You have to be the man. That thou art the anointed, the son of the living power. And that is, we, that, is, that is us. That is, we, man, that is what we had to try and get our mind believing. So that we don't, we don't move. We don't waver. Alright? And we don't faint. We don't become faint hearted. See? Let me just get this last precept here. Um, Revelation 3 and 15. He says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Now, if you are cold, or, in other words, the Mosai, Yahawashai, 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 would rather you to be either one of the two. Either you're cold, either you fuck it, or either you on fire. I would that thou would cold or hot. In other words, I would have preferred for you prefer for you to be cold or hot. You know, like, you know how we say, like, ye be ye and ye ne be ne? Like these women out here, they will say, you ask them, you have a man? Kind of complicated. Like, ye be ye and ye ne be ne? Is it that you're for me or you're against me? You carry your foot in the world and your foot in the truth. You understand? Know, and as young brothers, I a young brother, Sometimes them shit that's gone. We had to check yourself constantly. Check yourself. It says, So then, because thou art lukewarm, lukewarm meaning, I'm gonna look up that word lukewarm. So then, so then because thou art tipped, you're warm. You're not, you're not hot, you're warm. Metaphor of the condition of the soul wretchedly fluctuating between a torpor and a fervor of love. Lukewarm. You're not you're not hot, you're not cold, you're just in between, basically. You're just in between. Yeah, I was shining looking for the ones who are in between. Is he that you're for me? He that he that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And I'm going to look up that word spew. In other words, if you're not on fire for me, you're just, you're just doing videos whenever you could. I will vomit you. I will throw you up. To vomit. That is what you would mean. It comes from the Greek word. Strong's G. 
and Mayo. And it means to vomit. Because why? He was supping with you at one point. And then you was lukewarm. So all the food what he was giving you, you would throw it up and he bringing you into his fold going to spit you back out into the world. You understand? So this is a fearful the first time I heard this scripture broken down, I was terrified. And it's still terrifying. So brothers, you have to check yourself and try and be like how the Apostle Peter was. The Apostle Peter, now, he was more on a, 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 a mindset of I'm not leaving this no matter what, I'll die in this. And he did die in it. And the days coming when they're going and look to kill us for this truth. So that is the mindset we had to have. But that I would say Shalom. Barakataya Hawa. Bashamya Hawa Shai.